Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking about computer basics, specifically mobile devices. Let's get started. So what is a mobile device? Well, a mobile device is a general term for any type of handheld computer. And these are extremely portable and they're meant to basically fit in either one hand or two hands. So I kind of want to go over the devices that I chose here to highlight and what they do and kind of what makes them unique. The two on the left side that we see here and here, this top one is an iPad that's made by Apple and it runs iOS mobile operating system. This one down here is your uh, Samsung tablet and this one runs Google Chrome operating system. These are two operating systems which are built for mobile devices and you'll notice that iOS also runs on this right over here which is an iPhone. Um, so these two run the same operating system as well as this Pixel, this Google Pixel phone down here runs the same operating system as this Samsung tablet. Alright, so that's a little bit about those types of mobile devices, those two being uh, tablets over here and smartphones right here. This one up here is actually one of the um, only very mobile devices that I know that runs a full desktop operating system and that's the Microsoft Surface. And the Microsoft Surface is unique and I decided to add it on here because yes you could attach a physical keyboard which makes it more like a laptop but also it runs Windows 10. So since it runs, win runs Windows 10 that kind of makes it a little bit more more like a full functioning computer uh, uh, as opposed to these tablets over here which are more like the mobile devices next to them. Down here I decided to include this. This is a gaming device called a Nintendo Switch. This uh, device is unique because it's kind of like a hybrid computer in a way. Um, you can plug it into a dock where it would show up on a TV and you can play games that way or you could actually pull it out of the dock and use it in handheld mode like you see here with the controller grips and uh, that is then a mobile device. So these two on the right side are kind of more um, uh, hybrid devices in that sense. So uh, that's what a handheld computer is and tablet computers, let's focus on that first. Tablet computers use virtual keyboards. That makes them uh, very unique, okay? And so you'll see that there's a physical keyboard here on this one, but again, that's the Microsoft Surface. That you could actually disconnect the physical keyboard and use it by touch screen. Um, over here are your more standard tablets. You have your iPad and um, your Android tablet, and those are completely touch sensitive. Now you can apply a uh, keyboard to these, but again, most of the time you're going to be using that virtual keyboard. Um, these again use mobile operating systems, these two over here, uh, this being iOS and this being Android. Uh, E-readers are another thing that I wanted to cover here and that they're designed for reading ebooks and so that's basically when you download a, uh, a digital version of a book you're going to download it onto something like this. The reason that you'd use an ebook as opposed to a tablet is because it uses an e-ink display and uh, it's easier on the eyes and it's easier to read. And so the two that are probably the most popular are Amazon Kindle and Barnes and Noble Nook. Lastly, let's focus specifically on the smartphones here. Uh, smartphones have a ton of uses. I couldn't write them all down, so I just decided to kind of cover a little bit of uh, everything in here. And so you'll see that they do make phone calls, okay? So people do uh, obviously make phone calls on those. Uh, you have your voicemail, your text messaging, but also one of the things that makes uh, smartphones particularly unique as compared to like kind of the older predecessors uh, is the fact that they could connect to the internet and uh, use a web browser and they're very very powerful because of that so you need a data plan for that and uh, those you could get from your um, mobile provider. Now keep in mind the operating systems are iOS which is your iPhone and Android which is developed by Google and iOS is unique because the only phone that uses the iOS operating system is the iPhone. You can't pick up a Samsung Galaxy and use the iPhone operating system. That will not work. Um, Apple does not release the rights to the operating system to any other phone manufacturer, whereas Google, who owns Android, you may find a Google phone that's uh, made by Google, like the Google Pixel, or you may find, find one by Samsung, or you may find one by LG. It really just depends. Google's phones do have 
have multiple uh, suppliers for their products or at least for their operating system. So hopefully this video has explained a little bit more about mobile devices and what constitutes something as a mobile device. If this video has helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Have a great day.